Here we are at the uh, Rock or Elk Rock State Park. So we're out today. We're gonna start about here. This is where we're parked. This is the equestrian area. We're gonna take this loop around here, the north loop. Now we're gonna take the outer portion of the east loop, and then we'll go down the west loop, and then follow that back all the way up to here. Should be roughly nine and a half, ten miles. But this is Elk Rock State Park, and Red Rock Lake is all of this up through here. Really nice bluffs, actually. As you cross, there's a long bridge right here. Nice looking park though so far. So we're, this is the equestrian day use area. Got a nice little playground here. Should be a beautiful day. So, while we gotta watch out for cow pies like that one over there, Yes, of course, road apples. Uh, here we go. Got everything together. Sun's starting to peak. Temperatures already in the uh, mid 60s, supposed to be 80 today. Got the cameras ready to go. Got the extra lenses. Just hoping it's an awesome hike. So the trailhead, and this is an equestrian trailhead if you didn't figure out by the equestrian day use and the road apple comment. You can mountain bike on it as well, like I said, good old road apples. And uh, I thought this was a straight shot out, so I'm going to have to refer to the map real quick. I think we go that way. So here we go. So let's we'll see how good this is. It looks like it's a popular horse area and most of the places where I've been that are horse areas tend to be really wide vehicle width trails and so far this is already starting off being standard uh, standard width trails of course this is all chewed up here but we'll see how this turns out. So, the first part was kind of a pain so far. Really soft, loose, almost dust like sand. Um, kind of, now, yeah, slows you down. Kind of tight, not tight, but uh, loose under the feet. So, yeah, step slower, have to push off more. Peak of the lake through the trees. This next part, you know, after that first half mile, that's three quarters of a mile, it's turned into a standard trail. Really nice. Good views of a couple of deer. Didn't see them, unfortunately, so I couldn't get shots with them on my camera. But, you know, they bounded away. It looked like possibly a uh, pheasant or something like that was uh, flying away. It was nice though, I mean, if I, if I would have been paying more attention or been closer to it, maybe I could have gotten a shot of it in flight, but yeah, it was just, just far enough off. But the deer, they were close too. They're surrounding a bend, and you can't even see anything around the bend, and there they are and gone. So, but yeah, so far so good. I mean, I think mile in, something like that. Here's one of those examples of why I'm iffy with hiking equestrian trails because horses just chew up the ground I mean this is horrible and a lot of horse owners just don't care it's not their feet you have to walk through this it's their horses And so when hikers have to share equestrian trails, we get this stuff. 
at least sometimes they stay off this and they'll ruin that side but leave this for people who have to walk i do see that every now and again and thanks to them for that and i hate to say you know hey horse people stay off our trails because <laughs> it's their trails too it is i mean this is an equestrian park maybe we can get a view of the lake from here One thing I'll say about this place, I said this place, but today's adventure is the bugs are finally out. Doused myself with Bug Soother, local Iowa product. It's been doing pretty good about shooting them away. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, you cross that bridge right there to get here from the north, from I-80. I saw as I was crossing these really nice views of the bluffs, like that one. But all along this lake, makes you kind of wish I had a small boat or a kayak just to get out there and get some shots from the water side. Yeah, I definitely like it here. I will definitely be back so far. But yeah, I finished the first loop about a mile and a half. Kind of slow, so I was trying to take a lot of pictures. Because that sun is the right angle, and you know, there's found a, a route to the shore so I could see the, the cliffs. Had to dodge all kinds of stuff like that. Had to deal with some really chewed up trails over there. And then, yeah. The very first half mile and the last like quarter mile, there was uh, got real sandy, real loose. Hey, rabbit. Let's see if we can do this one-handed. All right, and so now we're into. The rest of this section as we head towards East Loop, as a uh, uber novice mountain biker, I would say thus far, ignore that first loop of the North Loop. But in the end, we'll take a look at the whole place once I'm done and see if the rest of it was good. And if you want to do some cross country riding and can avoid the road apples, don't mind maybe riding through uh, urine saturated sand back there. Then, yeah, maybe this might end up being a nice place. But once again, we're in a chewed up section. So, all right, continuing on. Okay, so we just finished the North Loop, and that says it is uh, 1.8 miles. However, uh, my app says that I just did 2.4, so slightly off. Right now we're at that intersection there. So there is the trailhead to uh, West Loop. So we got to go down that road just a touch bit. And that's going to be the kickoff for East Loop. And then that there, actually, Looking at that, that there's the road that we're gonna be taking on our return trip from west. So right now, we're just gonna head down this way, see how far we go until we find the trailhead for East Loop. And hopefully, that one, which says it's four miles, doesn't turn out to be like six. Ah, there it is. So, we will enter here. And by the map, it looks like maybe 20, 20 to 40 yards down is where we'll exit. And then we'll walk down to that point there. 
and start the final loop. Here we are. So this section, the east loop, there's a lot more openness. I kind of like these trees. Kind of neat. Kind of like this. Definitely seeing more wildlife in this section. Maybe they saw those same cardinals again, or you know more. Seeing some slugs. A couple robins. Some blackbirds even. Quail. Yeah. So, yeah, really liking this place. Lots of wildlife. Got, I don't know, it's a finch of some type, it looks like. Uh, black and yellow, but not like a goldfinch that uh, I'm familiar with, you know, state bird of Iowa. Uh, it doesn't look like that, but has some dark, I guess, shoulders, black shoulders and a head. And then uh, its lower body is just this really bright yellow, so. Almost orange too in the sunlight. A couple of them flying around. Uh, snails, of course. Nice shot of a dragonfly. All these I'm hoping come out. I have no idea. I don't know what those were. They were dark. Too fast. But yeah, the trail over here too is. I'm liking it. Okay, so we are, let me get my map out. See if you can see this. Um, right there. We are basically on the peak of one of these two ridges. I think it's this one here. On um, this loop of the east loop. That looks right. And they have all the way back in here, there's a hitching post, because like I said, this is the equestrian trail. So they have a hitching post right over there. And then back over here, they have a picnic table. And then they have that mess of trees. But looking at it, you know, if they put the work in, came back here with even a chainsaw, because there's really, there's quick access to here. But came in here with the chainsaw. I just cleaned all this dead fall out. Maybe even, and I'd leave the big trees, but maybe even if they cleaned up the little trees. You could get a really nice lake view. They put like maybe a couple of benches, not like this torn up thing here. But if they put, you know, like a decent little bench, it could be a nice little rest spot. You could backpack in like some lunch even. You know, a short little, I don't know, two miles, I think, is how far I'm in. Backpack in two miles, maybe have a little picnic out here with somebody, by yourself even, solitude. Stare out on the lake. Spend an hour, whatever. Then pack up and then continue on. A lot of potential there. Nice little spot. Flying shots gonna turn out. Couldn't get the zoom in. Got the focus with one hand. Ooh, poop. And 
we're finished with the East Loop. Overall, East Loop, not horrible by any means. Um, definitely not as chewed up as the North Loop. So that's a little better. Uh, the cornfield sections were boring. Uh, the wooded sections were nice. Wildlife is definitely better in the east section. It could be that it's, you know, later, so. But now we're headed down this road to kick off the west loop. I like this section a lot. It's nice. Feels like you're in the woods again, not next to cornfields. Like the little ponds, there's a, like two or three ponds now. Well, heck, there's two right, well, no, that's part of the lake. So, that leads back out to the lake. Check out the deer in the pond. Let's see if I can get it on camera. Got it. I think it was in focus. That was a neat little shot. Normally I get him in the woods, but that one's actually out in the pond. So that was, was kind of neat. But anyhow, back to what I was talking about. I like this. This little view like this. This is nice. So now that I've pretty much gone through most parks, we're almost, we're into the loop, the final loop at the end. I would say, hiking wise, good. This is a nice little park. Have to annoy, or have to get around the, uh, let's see. I don't know if you can see it, because I'm not zoomed in, but that was one of those, looks like a finch. Uh, anyhow. Ooh, bluebird. All right, camera, you gotta go away. All right, let's restart that. Um, uh, dang it, there we go. So, as far as this place goes for hiking, definitely a uh, fun little hike place. A lot of good stuff. The cornfield section was, you know, what cornfield section was. Um, the, uh, the north section with the sandy, really, really loose sand. That small section was meh. But outside of that, really good. Uh, the bugs are around. And the uh, other than that, though, you got a lot of dragonflies, a lot of butterflies. Tons of different kinds of birds out here. Cardinals, blue jays, finches, sparrows, blackbirds, all kinds of them. So... If you want to get out here with the camera, for sure. Deer, um, rabbits, squirrels, chipmunks. Those are all out here as, as well. But good paths, like this, the west path, so far is my favorite. Uh, for sure. I like the trees, I like the path. As far as mountain biking, yeah. That north section and parts of that east section, no. Too sandy, you'd be pushing the bike too much. Unless you got fat tires, I suppose. The regular mountain bike now. Uh, if you want to dodge all the road apples, there's a lot. <laughs> a lot of horse poo on the trails here. But yeah, definitely, definitely a very cool place. Definitely a very cool place. So, finishing up, walking into the little parking lot area, small parking lot area. Looks like the Horse riders are getting up and around. See the horses out now. A couple people walking around. So it looks like I beat them out on the trails at least. A yeah, total of about 11 miles. It took me a little over four hours. I walk a little fast. But great hike, great day. Lots of shots. Definitely place to come back again, bring somebody. Yeah. It's 
definitely a good time. All right. <laughs>